What's up guys, it's your boy Darskin, and today we're going to be doing a team building guide over the SS rank uh, Madara Uchiha, Ninja War Tobi, whatever you want to call it, but um, I'm going to be doing two of these videos, and the reason why is because there's two ways to do it, um, one is going to be the nuking tactic, which I'm going to be talking about in this video, and then the other one is going to be the more original way i guess the just like you know just the regular way i guess anyways so starting out uh for the nuking tactic you are going to need someone who does a lot of damage right now as far as the skill units go the most damage in the game as far as skill units are skill obito and the brand new kabuto yakushi they both do insane amount of damage they both do like their damage is insane right um now as far as that i'd recommend running at least two of them so like running one obito one kabuto running two kabutos running two obitos something like that right if you can now i don't have obito or kabuto so i can't do that right uh but anyways yeah so you want to do that at least at least um and this this will make your chances a lot better than if you don't have the two of them the reason why now if you don't know what you should know like bro man has a uh, 28 times no multiplier and it comes 30 times with his first ability so man got a 30 times multiplier with what a 1400 attack stat like that's retarded like insanely retarded so there's that um going on to kabuto kabuto does insane amount of damage too he does, um, wait, wait, what, what, yeah, okay, anyways, he does 16.5 times attack, and it's AoE, uh, Obito's isn't AoE, but Kabuto's is AoE, which is really good, um, you can get attack reduction, you can do, uh, Jutsu Sealing, which, I don't think you could do Jutsu Sealing on them, but I'm pretty sure you can do attack reduction on them, uh, I'm pretty sure his doesn't have anything, yeah, it doesn't, okay, so yeah, uh, not to mention, if you have his fourth ability, you get healing from him, which would be really good, right? That'd be really, really good, too. Uh, syncing with skill can boost your attack, sync with hard skill body. The C skills are debatable. You can do what you want. He has damage reduction on his field skill, and he's vast range. Um, and this one just has crit. So, but the crit might come in handy. So, hey, don't sleep. But, yeah, so these are, like, your go-to units. Right, as far as damage, if if you wanna like as far as damage, these are your go-to units. Now, if you don't have those two, uh, I don't really know what to tell you. I I will talk about this way in the next video, so stay tuned for that one tomorrow. Um, oh by the way, the beta for Strikers comes out tomorrow night, so if I, I'm going to try my best to upload. But if I do not upload for like two days, that's why. I'm just letting y'all know now. I'm going to say it in tomorrow's video too. I'm just letting y'all know. If I do not upload, that is why. Um, yeah, so anyways, now that you got your damage dealers, uh, let's get on to the people that are going to be boosting you, right? Because this is the nuking tactic. So the best one, the best possible is power of determination six star blazing bash naruto but this is in his six star form not his blazing aw awoken state the reason why is not only does his field skill give you 200 attack boost um not only does his six skill give an attack boost but if you have his abilities you get healing and my friend is calling me like wow anyways uh, anyways, but uh, yeah, so you get 200 healing a turn if you have max abilities. You do have body damage reduction, which is really, really good. And then the main icing on the cake, you get 25% attack boost for two turns to all allies in range, excluding self. Restores chakra gods, uh for those allies by one. So you give your allies a uh, chakra, and you're giving them a 25% attack boost. And it's like, well, Darkskin, how can I possibly uh, get them to 150? Well, I'm glad you're at, you asked. The best method is to take two of them. Uh, Shiny has two of them. I know a lot of people that have summoned on a lot of Blazing Bash units have two of him simply because he was the first Blazing Bash unit. So he's the most common one to get, 
right? But um, if you don't have to, and that's okay if you don't, Gengo is going to be out next week. I'm, I'm fairly certain. Gengo is going to be out next week. And not only does he, um, what's it called, his field skill boost attack, but he also gives all allies in range 25% uh, attack boost for four. Now, his is for four turns. Naruto's is seven. So um, the reason why Naruto's is so good, you only need two of them. If you have two of them, you can get 150. And the reason why is you get the max chakra, 10 chakra, right? You both, you both, you boost with both, so you get 50%, right? Then you boost with them again, you so now you're at 100%, and it's like a 14 turn uh, thing until your, you know, your chakra's gone. I mean, your boost is gone. By the before that turn is up, I said 14 turns. No, the first one gives you 14 turns. The second one would put you at 28, but that you can't go to 28. I'm pretty sure you, you can only go to like 20. So you have like 20 turns. To get your chakra back with them and then you can do it again to get you to 150 so that's how you do it if it's with them now if it's with Gengo and Naruto I think you can still do it because it's like you go to what 11 turns and then uh, I'm pretty sure you can get your chakra back before the turns end I'm pretty sure um, and then you can do it again now if you can't uh, now if you don't have this Naruto you can always run two Gengos the only thing about running two Gengos is you're not going to have as much healing. Uh, I mean, you're not going to have the healing if you don't have these abilities. But if you run Gengos and not Naruto's, you won't have the healing if you have those abilities. Um, you will have healing with Kabuto if you take him, which is really good. Now, the good thing about this is it's S rank. So you don't need to bring skill only. You can bring whatever you want. So let's say you bring uh, Obito, Kabuto, two Naruto's, or two Gengos, or Naruto Gengo, right? That's four. You have four units. Now you can bring the healer, which could be a six path Naruto. Uh, you can bring a Kaguya. She heals for 700. You can bring a Blazing Fest Sakura, who heals like what, 400 a turn, and then her Jutsu is crazy. You can bring a healer in that fifth slot. Um, not to mention, uh, you can, if you want to, bring a healer as a friend. So you can pretty much have two healers, two damage dealers, two boosters. That's, that, that's going to be like the best comp. Now, if you don't have both of these units, maybe you can take um, you can take one damage dealer, two boosters, uh, a healer, I mean two healers, and then take a friend damage dealer. Long story short, you want to have two damage dealers, two boosters, uh, two healers. And then, um, but now let's talk about if, uh, if you don't want to do the Gengo method for some reason, if you don't have Naruto... Phantom Castle for Global is going to be next week, and you can get this Naruto. Now, if you don't know what this Naruto does, this Naruto's ult gives an attack boost of 100% to one uh, for one turn to one ally. Now, the one turn by itself isn't going to be good, but if you take it with uh, the Naruto or the Gengo, it'll be either five turns or eight turns. Not to mention, if you do his Jutsu twice, it'll be nine turns. If you do his twice, it'll be 15. So... Um, you could take this Naruto along with like a Gengo um, But the only problem is you'll only be able to boost one person to 150 The other person will only get 50% boost because this is single target Going on to the last one Obito also his ult you give all allies in range a 50% attack boost now This is his ult. It's not his Jutsu But it's an AOE 50% attack boost. So if you want to take Gengo and Obito you can do that and get 100%. It's just, it's Mitch and Match who you want to use. But the four boosters in the game, uh, the four best ones, anyways, because I think there are some more, are Naruto, Gengo, this Naruto, and then Obito. So, pretty much two boosters, two healers, two damage dealers. Uh, I'll, oh, and by the way, let's talk about the stages real quick. You shouldn't have a problem stalling, simply because the first stage is like, 10 Zetsus. The second stage is like 10 Zetsus. Do not auto attack them. Jutsu them because they heal. They, they constantly heal. So you want to Jutsu them and uh, just save one and heal. The first map and the second map are both Zetsus. But I'm pretty sure the second map the second map you have a chance to uh, I'm pretty sure the second map you have a chance to have uh, Obito spawn. So I don't know. 
But anyways, it's not that hard. It's really easy. The first map is nothing but Zetsus. The second map it's nothing but Zetsus for the most part. The third map you will have Obito, Utakata, Yagura, and Yugito. You need to burst Obito down. You need to kill him. That's why you're nuking him. Kill him because if you don't, they're all gonna hit you with Jutsus and you're gonna die. So that's pretty much it for the team building guide. That's gonna be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below, tell me what you guys in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.